Yo, so today we got ourselves a video that I've been wanting to make for a while because every single time that I upload a sniping video, I always get like two questions every single time. And those two questions are, when does the market refresh and what is a good filter when you have a little bit of MT? And really quickly guys, we are in 2K17, not 2K16. And I say that because in 2K17, we don't have filters like we did in 2K16. And with the market crashing, you know, every other week or, you know, every other day, like it's really hard to snipe, especially when it comes to like finding a good filter. It's really hard to find something consistent. So I want you guys to be aware of that however though in this video I do have five filters that can definitely help you make MT especially when you have like under 10,000 MT but I do have to remind you that this year like the filters that we do have they're not consistent at all like sometimes you'll find something sometimes you won't no matter what filter you use it's not gonna be consistent like you're not gonna find a snipe every single refresh every single time you do it and we really don't have any filters out there that can give you like something consistent because the market is crashing like every other day so it's really hard to filter out those players that just keep dropping every single day but as long as you understand all that these five filters in this video are definitely going to help you make MT. And if you guys do want to see more videos like this, make sure to smash that like button for me. The more likes we get, the more I know you guys want to see more videos. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well if you do want to see more videos. But without further ado, let's get right into it with five filters that you can use right now in the auction house when you have a little bit of MT. So the first thing that you have to know when it comes to sniping is you need to know when the auction house refreshes. And the market in 2K does refresh every 15 minutes. For the PS4, it's like around 12.15, 12.30, 12.45, 1 o'clock, 1.15, and so on. And for the Xbox, it does happen like around one minute after the PS4, which means for the Xbox, it's going to be like 12.01, 12.16, 12.31, 12.46, .12 and so on. So just make sure that you do know that the market does refresh every 15 minutes. And if you've been playing 2K for a while now, you know that the servers are just complete garbage, which means that the refresh isn't always going to hit on time. Sometimes it might hit, you know, five minutes later. Sometimes it might be, you know, 20 minutes late, an hour late. Sometimes it might not even hit for like five hours straight. So this is for everybody that continues to ask me, like, when does the refresh hit? Just know that it does hit every 15 minutes but sometimes they will be late due to the fact that the servers are pretty garbage and if you do need extra help with sniping like you need to know exactly when the market refreshes make sure that you follow me on twitch twitch.tv slash carlos story we're always sniping together we're always letting each other know when the market does refresh so if you do need a little bit more help make sure to follow me on twitch and now that you know when the market does refresh let's get right into the filters so the first filter that we do have for this video is going to be the sapphire moments filter and the best time to do this filter is when everybody's opening leak packs like every single time a new diamond comes out make sure that you're using this filter you can change this filter to your liking like if you want to just get power forwards or centers or small forwards you can definitely do that just make sure that you're watching the auction house make sure that you know how much cards are going for but what i would use would just be sapphire moments 500 minimum to a thousand maximum but also make sure that you know how much cards are going for that way you know exactly what to buy and what not to buy for example in this filter you do want to avoid players like bledsoe players like lillard but you do want to buy players like kyrie irving towns paul george carmelo anthony kevin durant those are definitely really good players to buy in this filter so just you know make sure that you know exactly what's in the filter you can even go below a thousand mt you can go higher depends what you want to do but this is the base filter right here so make sure that you time it perfectly and you should be able to make a lot of mt and next up we do have a filter that not everybody uses like the one that i showed you before the sapphire one a lot of people are using that filter but this filter right here the historic emerald southwest players is a really good filter you do want to do 500 minimum to a thousand maximum and anytime that you see a player you want to buy it right away but the main cards that you do want to get in this filter are going to be the grizzly players because everybody's still opening those packs you do also want to buy the new orleans players the mavericks and also the spurs so it's really up to you what you want to do if you want to do the basic one just go 500 to a thousand and buy every single card that pops up if you do want to go a little higher just make sure that you're not buying those rocket players make sure that you're going for the grizzlies the new orleans the mavericks and the spurs and again this filter isn't as common as the other one so make sure that you use it right now if you do want to make mt and good luck getting all those emeralds for under a thousand mt and then right here we do have one of the most common and popular filters that we have right now in 2k17 the best time to use this filter right here is when we do end up getting new tbt packs so if you do want to use this filter make sure that you're using it when new tbt packs come out because everybody's just going to be ripping packs and the filter is pretty easy it's just ruby historic and then 500 to about 3,000 maximum you do want to buy any card that pops up like if you see a ruby player you want to buy it right away however though there are two players that you don't really want to buy and those players include the hamilton and the jamal so if you see a player that isn't those two players make sure that you buy it right away because on average these cards are going for like 10,000 mt and you'd be surprised what kind of players pop up in this filter because some players go for like 100,000 mt right now and with this filter you can definitely find those for like under 2,000 under 1,000 mt but just be aware that this filter right here everybody's using so you're definitely going to be having a lot of competition but if you're fast enough and lucky you're definitely going to be making a lot of mt and here we go once again with another filter that not everybody's using right now in the game and that filter is the historic gold 76ers you want to do 500 minimum to about 2,000 3,000 mt maximum and you want to buy any player that pops 
sub. Again, though, make sure that you check the auction house. That way you know how much these players are going for. But usually you'll find these for like a thousand MT, for 500 MT. And as you can see on the screen, these cards are going for a lot of MT. So you'll definitely be making a lot of MT if you do end up getting at least one. So this is another filter that not everybody uses it. So if you want to use it, go ahead and use it right now and make a lot of MT. And the fifth and final filter is going to be the diamond filter that everybody's using. If you watch my top five fails and also snaps of the week, you see a lot of diamonds going for like under a thousand MT. It's really simple. All you want to do is diamond and then 500 minimum to about like 15,000 maximum. Again, with any filter, you can go up, you can go down depending what you want to do. And also make sure that you know how much cards you're going for in the auction house. Because you already know prices go up and down every single day. The only diamond that you really do have to worry about is going to be Jimmy Butler because he's going for about like 20,000 MT right now. But if you do 15,000 maximum, you can still buy that Jimmy Butler for like 15k and then just sell it for 20k. You make 3,000 MT profit, which really isn't bad because you do still end up making a lot of MT. And then obviously, if you see anyone that isn't Jimmy Butler, you're going to want to buy it right away. And you can pretty much see any diamond, for example, Paul George, Carmelo Anthony. You might end up even seeing a diamond Tracy McGrady for 500 MT. Just make sure that you're also fast enough if you do want to use this filter. But there you guys have it. Five filters right now in the game that you can use when you have a little bit of MT. Let me know down in the comments if you guys do want to see more videos like this. Just leave a like as well on the video. Again, really quickly, you do want to be aware of the market. Make sure that you're always checking how much cards are going for. That way you don't take an L. But as long as you're smart about it, you should be able to make a lot of MT. But if you guys enjoyed that video and you definitely want to see more, make sure to smash that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel for more sniping videos. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.